Hello everybody, welcome to Joy's Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is September 24th, 2023 and today's daily scripture readings are found in 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 1 through 6 and John chapter 15 verse 13 and as always let's get started with the index scripture first. So 1 Peter chapter 4 starting at verse 1 and the word says, Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lust of men, but for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lewdness, lust, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Amen. And on the index card, I have reiterated verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself also with the same mind. For he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his life, I'm sorry, the rest of his time in the flesh for the lust of men, but for the will of God. Amen. And then I have written... Some people will talk about you when they see you have changed for the Lord. Rejoice, for this is good. Amen. Now, let us go to John chapter 15, verse 13. And Jesus is telling us, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Again, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Now we know the great love that Jesus showed us by truly laying down his life for us all um, through his death, burial, and resurrection. He literally laid down his life for us. And maybe there will come a time when we'd have to literally lay down our lives and die for our friend or family but <clears throat> on another sense, this could mean laying down your life and what you have going on to be able to be there for your friend and their time of need, what they may be going through. They may need um, your listening ear. They may just need a hug. They may need to just cry and just let it all out. Or they just might need because they're going through something just to have someone else there. So sometimes it's like it could seem as a little inconvenience. But if we're willing to lay down our life and, you know, what we maybe have going on to be able to hear someone out and what they're going through. That's great love because we are dying to self. We are denying what we might have planned to go do to be able to be there for someone. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.